Welcome to another TSV training video. RLV is popular in the Second Life BDSM scene where a sub can give his or her master or mistress control over themselves using RLV. The Restraint Love Viewer was invented to make the experience more realistic, but is also popular outside the BDSM scene. RLV is free, it's fun, and it can be used by anyone. Use it to make your life more dangerous, to give your partner more control over you, or let others capture you. The standard viewer, as of now, version 2.3, does not support RLV. However, there are numerous approved third-party viewers that do. You can find them listed on the Linden Labs wiki. That's at wiki.secondlife.com slash wiki slash third-party viewer directory. Copy and paste or type the URL into your browser and hit enter. A number of specialized viewers are listed here. We are interested in three. Restrained Love. It's the only one currently using the two-style interface. The others, Phoenix and Imprudence, use an older interface but are very popular. The Phoenix developers are working on a version called Firestorm that uses a two-style interface. It should be available soon, but was not available in December 2010 when I wrote this. It is simple to change viewers if you don't like the one you choose now. I'm going to start with the Restrained Love Viewer only because of this interface difference. If you use the newer viewer now, why complicate things by learning a new one? If you already use an older style viewer, the same applies. Choose one of the other two. Scroll down to find the link for Restrained Love. and Go to the Downloads page. Pick the version for your platform. It supports only Windows and Macs. The 1.23 version is for the older style viewer. We're going to use the standalone, which is based, as I've said, on the current Linden viewer. Click on the standalone version to download the file. Viewer files are surprisingly small. Once your download completes, click on the file to start the installer. Confirm the destination. Note where it is. We'll be going there in a moment and click install. The default location is great, especially for updates. I install to a different location, so I'm going to change the path. Once the install completes, we're going to transfer some files from the standard viewer to make available the voice features, both listen and talk. Believe me, being able to at least listen to voice will enhance your second life. When the install is completed, click close. Next, go to the location where the standard viewer is installed. Here's the Restrained Love we just installed. And here's my folder for the standard viewer. We'll copy the four voice files we need from here. Here they are. Copy them using control and left click to select the four files. Then right click and choose copy. Now go to the restrained love folder we just downloaded and paste them into the folder. If you use the default path, it will be called RLV and be in your program files. While we're here, we can create a shortcut right-click the application and choose Create Shortcut. To install it on your desktop, just drag the shortcut to the desktop. We'll use the shortcut to open the Restrained Love Viewer. If you don't want a desktop icon, you can always open the viewer from the application. When you sign in using the Restrained Love Viewer, you will be in RLV automatically. You can check that you are in RLV by clicking on the About Second Life item under the Help menu. And there it is. Next, we'll look at the install for the Phoenix Viewer. 
Phoenix is a feature packed viewer, soon to have a two style viewer. However, for now it uses the older interface. Back on the third party viewer page, choose Phoenix. It supports Windows, Macs, and Linux. Click on Phoenix, then the Downloads page. Choose your platform and download. Once the download completes, click on the file and start the installer. If it presents this menu, click Run. From here, just follow the instructions. Click Next. Accept the agreement, then click Next. Choose a destination. The default should be good, and click Next. Then Next again. Check or uncheck to create a desktop icon, then Next. Then click Install. And after the install completes, Finish. I'll start the program from the desktop shortcut we created. In Phoenix, RLV is activated from the Preferences. Go to Edit, then Preferences. Choose the Phoenix tab, and then Miscellaneous. Put a check mark in the Enable Restrained Love Features box. Select Apply, then OK. You will need to re-log to have the settings take effect. Now in Prudence. Back on the third party viewer page, click in Prudence, then the downloads link. In Prudence supports Windows, Macs, and Linux. Choose the download for your platform and download the file. Once the download completes, open the file. If this box appears, click Run. The install wizard starts up. Click Next, then choose a destination. The default is normally good. Click Next, then Next again. Choose any additional tasks here. I want a desktop shortcut. Then Next again. The install starts. When it completes, read the license and disclaimers, then click Next. I'm going to run it from here. Check both boxes if you wish. I'm going to skip the what makes it different, then click finish. The viewer starts up from the taskbar icon. You could also have started it from the desktop shortcut. You'll need the advanced menu to activate RLV. If it isn't here, click Control plus Alt plus D to make the menu item appear. Click the Advanced menu, and on the drop-down, choose Restrained Love Support. You will need to re-log for the setting to take effect. I know you will enjoy the new options available using RLV. Thank you so much for watching.